Stephen Reese has a thing or two to say about all of this. He's a retired transportation economist and regional planner. When you look at the situation, what do you think is really happening here? Do you think that CP really has an intention of rolling trains through these tracks? I think it's a very good way of putting pressure on the city. We're talking about a real estate negotiation. CP want $100 million for their piece of land, and the city's offered them $20 million. So how do you close that gap, and how do you get the city to start saying, well, we'll consider giving you more money? Up to now, they've upset a few people by ripping up their gardens, and the city was able to, to go to court and stretch things out a bit longer. CP want to turn the, 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 the taps on, and they want to put a bit more pressure on the city to get them back to the negotiating table. So all the, so all the talk about reactivating the line, getting freight trains going back and forth, you don't think that's going to actually there, happen? There aren't any customers on the Arbutus line, and there aren't going to be any customers, because there's nobody shipping freight along that line. So the things that CP have talked about has been training their crews or storing freight cars. Neither of those seem to be particularly important things that you need to fettle up this track, because the track currently is in a disgraceful condition. And you think they have other areas where they could use for oh, we storage, know they do. for training? They've got plenty of un underutilized track all over the lower mainland. There's, there's no shortage of perfectly usable track. You don't know to go, go. Essentially, the Arbutus corridor needs to be rebuilt. It, it's like you'd have to make it back into a new railway because the current line just simply isn't adequate to run trains on. So, so CP, in your mind, you think that they're threatening to roll trains again on that track. If they do so, that's going to get a whole lot of people fed up uh, at all the different crossings where the train would go through, uh -huh. people whose backyards back up right onto the track, and then what? What happens then? Then they go back to the negotiating table with the, with the, with the city and hope the city makes them a better offer that they feel comfortable taking. And do you think the city is actually prepared to go that far? That it would bend to that sort of pressure? Well, once you do that, it's like giving way to, it's like paying off somebody who's holding somebody hostage, isn't it? Mm. I mean, we, we you normally take a principal stand on this and say we don't bend to blackmail. Because if you do that, it's just opening the floodgates to everybody else to try it on. So the city is spending not its own money, but taxpayers' money. And taxpayers get very, very sensitive about how that money is spent. And up to now, people have been very concerned about how the city spends its money. And I don't think they'd be particularly happy to see a great deal spent on the Arbutus Corridor if, if it doesn't actually need, need to be spent. So I suppose, bottom line, uh, this could be going on for a little while longer. Uh, oh, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Stephen Reese, thanks so much. Thank you.